Hey guys, it's Cora Ross and welcome to Six News. Today we're talking about dev blog map buff philosophy. So the map reworks are the big reworks. So the first one we're going to get is Hereford, where it's completely redone from ground up, it's basically just a brand new map. And the map buffs are when they go in and they tweak something. So for instance, Clubhouse was the very first one and currently the only one. And they've got some like really cool work in progress uh, shots here. And I think it's really sweet to see this. So this, you know, pretty much exactly how it actually ended up being in the game. But look here. So their original kind of rework actually had a window. So this would have been like an outside corridor here. That would be interesting. So you'd have a destructible uh, wall and a window. And you can see that this added, went, added a little wall in here that would give you some cover for defenders shooting out and stuff. So really cool. Because of course that is now the destructible wall here instead and this is all inside now so let's talk about this so um creating new doors and walls is just part of rainbow six siege because of course the destructibility but creating new walls and windows and actual new doors is a core uh, of map buffs so the map buff is just coming in and literally adding in like new doors new walls new corridors, making things inside rather than outside, stuff like that. And the first one came with Operation Parabellum with Clubhouse. So they wanted to have a chat in this blog about their kind of philosophy of doing it and uh, the key changes in the future. Now this is very interesting because their target is to do one map buff per season. So of course we got Clubhouse last season, but I don't know if we'll get one with Grim Skies. I think we're going to get Hereford, but I don't think we're going to get a map buff, but could be wrong. So after two years, some maps or parts of maps in Siege can feel stale as uh, players' playstyles evolve. And that's basically why map buffs are coming in here to make things feel more fun to play and also balance. So if there's an unbalanced area, so like both of these objectives upstairs here, we're probably not the best picks they both had external walls they were both quite easy to attack but it is sad that i can never sit up on the wall that would have been the roof that would have been over here and actually shooting above the reinforcements i love doing that like shooting into the bathroom here can't do that now cannot do that so it's kind of sad that's gone that's the past and it's never coming back there we have this and i do love the reworked one but it's still sad that you know that that version with this outside is gone like it's never coming back it's done which is sad whereas the full reworks i think like the old hereford will still be in the game it'll still be casual uh, so i don't think they'll be getting rid of it whereas the actual map buffs they kind of we kind of lose that old version which is sad the philosophy of the level design team when creating map buffs is to give maps new life while improving the competitiveness and I think they did that with Clubhouse. The team builds onto the existing structures and flow of the map that improves on these qualities without completely changing the experience of the map. This is where map buffs differs from map reworks. <laughs> I get so confusing with these two different, very similar uh, names. But anyway. So map buffs are surgical and limited. Um, yeah, so you know, not a complete overhaul like the map reworks. They do, they go in and they add a few things. Although Clubhouse was, I think, significant what they went in and did with it. So it wasn't the most surgical thing because like they added a whole new staircase to the basement. They reworked a lot of walls, a lot of surfaces, a lot of doors. It really did change a lot, but it was still so familiar as well. This is the major thing I'm interested in. In the future, we plan to introduce map buffs on a more regular basis. Now, when they say more regular, I think they're going for one per season. So the fact that they're they're still they're still saying we plan to makes me think we're not getting one with this season. I think that we're gonna get Hereford, but not a map buff. And I really do want another map buff, but I don't think we're gonna get one. But they do say that some of them will not be as robust as the changes made in Clubhouse. So I guess we could see a map that just gets the minor, minor, minor tweak. You know, maybe a wall or two added, a doorway added, something like that. 
So maybe they could come in and just tweak something. But I don't know. Um yeah, so they're gonna and they're gonna follow the philosophy they have above, which is basically make maps more fun and more competitive. Which I think I don't know if you agree with me, you can let me know what you think, but I think their clubhouse rework was just perfect. Shit, I need to not say rework. Even though it is a rework, it's a map buff. And the reworks are the big complete overhauls. It's gonna be hard to get those two um separated in my head. So yeah, um that's pretty much it. A little look at how they go about changing it. It's cool to see that this was actually kind of envisioned as an external kind of area, I guess. Not quite a corridor, but like an external bit. At least I, I think it would be because it looks highly unlikely you'd have a room in here. There's no door into it. It'd be very odd to have a window into a room that was inside. I think this would have been external. That'd be interesting to see. That's for sure. But anyway, there we go, guys. That is the map buff philosophy from the devs. And I can't wait to see more map buffs in the future. What maps they decide to do. And I do hope we start getting one per season. Like if we get one per season plus a brand new map or a reworked map, I think that's going to be awesome. But you guys let me know in the comments below what you think.